What the heck? There we go. Hey, what's up guys? It's uh, Austin Olson here. Um, I've got a lot of questions over the last couple weeks, up to a month, um, of how I fish strawberry in the fall. And uh, today's video, I'm just gonna be focused on showing you the things that I look for, some of the things that I do, some of the baits I throw, um, in hopes that you can come out here and you know just just put the a beat down on these cutthroat and rainbow trout. So um, hope you enjoy this video. Um, again, let's uh, let's catch some fish. I want to show you a couple things, and uh, hopefully you find some of this information useful. Okay, let's get to it. All right, real quick, I wanted to show you guys some of the areas that I like to fish on strawberry. I still get quite a few questions about, you know, some areas to try, so hopefully this will help you guys out. Uh, starting up here at Strawberry, uh, the marina. If you shoot straight down over here to this bay down here, you know, off of this point, uh, there's some deep water in here. If you fish just on the line of that, you know, between where it's dropping down, just throwing your tubes, you will definitely catch some fish. Um, once that slows down, typically I'll run over here to Hawes Point, and this is, uh, this is actually one of the areas that I catch, you know, some of my bigger fish out of. So if that's what you're after, you know, I would focus a little more on Hawes Point. And then if you're after rainbows, come over here to the mouth of the Narrows um, along this gravel bar. You know, I tend to catch quite a few rainbows over here, so that's, that's definitely a, a really good place to, uh, you know, to catch them. Uh, and then during the fall, I, I tend to stay on the renegade side of the, of the reservoir. So here's the main marina. There's really three spots that I really enjoy fishing that I catch a lot of fish off of. Uh, number one is this point right here. You know, I feel like this is just a highway for trout, and, um, you know, I just I just catch a lot of fish off this. And then the other two areas are these these points down here. I just call them point one and point two. Um, there is a lot of weed, uh, like a weed line that kind of goes way out in here. And if you, uh, if you just kind of come off of that weed line and just throw your tubes towards it, um, you know, you pick up a lot of fish. Uh, they tend to be a little smaller, but you can, you know, you can rack up you know the the fish caught for that day so definitely some fun areas you know between between these six different spots i hope you know i hope that gets you guys on some fish and you know creating some fun family memories so um let's get into the fish um first thing i do before fishing i like to go you know i like to check my spots i like to go over them with the boat i like to see if there's fish on the you know on the fish finder before i even start fishing that's very important in my opinion. You know, make sure there's fish where you're at, otherwise I kind of feel like you're wasting your time. Um, so that would be my first tip for you. Um, there's a lot of points out here at Strawberry. Um, there's not one that's, you know, the only one that you're gonna catch fish on. Um, but move around. You know, my general rule out here is if I'm not, if I'm not catching um, 10 fish an hour, I'm, you know, I'm moving to the next spot. So look around. If fishing slows down, don't be afraid to move. Um, I've had a lot of days where fishing seems slow and then all of a sudden you move and boom you find them and you're you know you're you're on the fish for the rest of the day so do not be afraid to move and make sure there's fish in your area before you start fishing it all right let's get to fishing all right guys I've got a lot of fish jumping around me I know today's gonna be a good day but uh, to start out fishing um, I'm gonna I typically like to start out um, with some smaller presentations, see how the fish are biting. But this is just a little tube jig. Um, a lot of different colors work out here. Generally, I keep to uh, you know the brighter colors. Um, but I've had really good success on you know whites, greens, pinks, and oranges this fall. So let's give out our first cast, and I'll kind of show you what I'm doing here. There's a fish right there, baby. There's a fish right there. Third cast, and we're on them. It's like a little dinky one, but we're on the fish. Little cut to start the morning. All right, let's get them out and give you guys a look. Here we are, just a little guy. He's probably only around 13 inches, but that's the first one. Looking forward to a lot more fish today. And again, that's on this little uh, white and green tube. And he's already ripped it apart. This little white and green tube. Make sure you throw a little piece of night crawler on there if you got one. Um, but yeah, this is going to be a good day. I can just feel it. 
There's another one. That's a little better fish. There we go. Here's our third fish and I don't know, four four casts maybe. Okay guys, beauty. Probably 16 incher. See ya. Thank you. Okay, we're on them. We're on them, baby. There's a fish. So my line kind of twitched and then it stopped. In other words, the fish grabbed it and kind of came towards the boat. A little heavier fish. He's a pretty one, though. There he is. Boom, he's off. There's another one. Back to back. He's a little better fish. Come on. He's a little better. Back to back casts. Okay. It's probably 18, 19 incher, but getting bigger. Nice fish. Boom. There's a fish. Yeah, three in a row, baby. Three in a row. Woo! Three in a row. Another beautiful one. Actually, looks like the exact same fish. I'm sure it's not, but look at that. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful fish. I'm telling you. See ya. That's awesome. Three fish in a row. Fish just had it. There he is. This is a better fish. Oh yeah, this is a better fish. Better than what we've got so far. Wow, he's pulled in. Woo, that's a nice rainbow. Wow, that's a good rainbow. Look at that fish. He's got a weird head, but look at that pretty rainbow. Look at that pretty rainbow. Thank you. Woo! That's number nine. Fish on. Wow. Getting them now, baby. Nice. That there's number eleven.
wow, he's like really kind of like orange colored. What a beautiful fish. Another one, man. That's three in a row. It's number 12. We were on them. Thought he was out of gas, but he's not. Oh, man. Fish is tiring me out. Woo, man. We're crushing him. Ah, look at him. Just beautiful. I'm almost due for a new tube. I mean, look at this fish. Just beautiful. See ya. On the first drop, baby. Love that. Love that, baby. Got him. I think that's uh, 14, 14 fish. Another beauty. Another beauty. There he is. Oh, see ya. Sixteen. Beauty. Look at that cookie cutter. Oh, he's got like an orange spot right there. It's pretty cool. All right, guys. Quick update. Um, we've caught twenty-seven fish so far. It's about nine thirty. Uh, switched over to this green marabou jig. Not sure how well you can see that, but just caught three fish in a row. Um, lost one, so. Four fish total in like four casts. Um, these are definitely one of my favorite things to throw in the fall. You know, between tube jigs and marabou jigs. Together, those two things just rock trout. So, again, I just kind of cast it out there. Let that line sink for a little bit and watch your line. You'll see when a fish grabs it. I'm just watching my main line. And I just saw it twitch. There's a fish right there. Just like that, baby. This is 28. Look how pretty. Look how pretty that is. That's 28. There you are, beautiful. There's one. A little better fish. Yeah, that's a little better fish.
banging him out. That's 28. I mean, look at him. Whew. Beautiful. Let's get another one, huh? In front of this boat that's just circling us. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Two in a row, we're on them. Beautiful. Beautiful, man. I could see the fish and my lure and my jig right at the boat. Awesome. Awesome. That was cool. Love the cool ones. He bit me twice. And then uh, you know, got got right close to the boat. I could see I could see my jig. And then uh Seen a fish swipe at it and miss, and then he got it on the second time. Pretty cool. All right, I'm gonna catch one more fish and I'm gonna head out. One more fish will make 60, so it's pretty. It's been a pretty good day. Yeah, here's number 60. Woo! Here we are, baby. 60 on a solo trip. I mean, it doesn't get much better than that, does it? Well, it could, I guess. What the heck? There we go. Okay, guys. That's number 60. Sorry if the wind is kind of bad, but I ended the day on this just pearl white tube jig, probably two and a half inches long. Um, definitely a killer. Anywhere there's trout, you're gonna catch them on, on a pearl white tube. Now there's a lot of species of fish you can catch them on, catch that with. Overall, that's just a phenomenal day.